I did just add another line right before I started this, uh, this particular video. And let me just show you what that was quickly. And then we'll just go ahead and add another one. Again, it's just you go right back into NACL configuration mode. The number that you're assigning it. And you remember the defaults. It starts with 10 and it increments by 10. And what you do there, just type the number of the sequence number, not number 15 or sequence 15, just 15. And then just enter whatever you need to enter right behind it. In this case, deny host 210111. And then when I ran show IP access list, you can see that that deny statement was put right in the middle, right where I wanted it with 15. Now, if someone came back to you and said, hey, you know, here's something else you need to deny or here's something else you need to permit, whether it needs to go between your first line and your second line or your second line and your third line, you've got room to work with. So again, it was not written in stone that I had to use 15 right there, but I went ahead and did it because instead of using 11 or 19 because that didn't leave me any room at one end of the spectrum. Let's go ahead and add another line here because I want you to see that in action too. And again, you just drop right down into named ACL mode. And let's say the line needs to go between the 10th, excuse me, the 15th and 20th sequence numbers. So let's go ahead and just put 17 there and deny 222.111. And that's really it. And there you go. So it drops right in there. 10, 15, 17 was put between 15 and 20 where it obviously belongs. And you can see the longer the ACL gets and the more editing you have to do, uh, the easier these really do make your life. Let's go over the rules quickly one more time before we move on to another subject. Sequence numbers are great as long as they're available and you know that they were introduced with 12 to 14 now, so I wouldn't worry about memorizing that for the exam but it's good to know that they have not been around forever so you might run into a router on occasionally where you don't have sequence numbers and unfortunately according to Cisco documentation we can't use them on dynamic reflexive or firewall ACLs or numbered ACLs as well we may actually see the numbers assigned to each line but we can't work with it we can't set a sequence number for a particular line which does get to be a pain so let's see we've seen all that we've seen all the defaults we've seen how to insert lines there and that's about it what we're gonna do next is move on to some graphics you're gonna love this because I don't know that many people that really love to type I've always been very grateful that my mother made me take typing in high school um, I'm so grateful for that and the thing is especially with ACL lines because they can get pretty long and we know that if we're using the numbered lines, you know, where you're not dropping into config mode or anything like that, I'm sure you've written ACLs that go all the way off the screen. And it's just a little awkward to work with. Well, if you hate typing to begin with, and you particularly hate typing numbers, and you hate it when the words go off the side of the screen because you've written such a long command, you're going to love what we do next because we're actually going to use Cisco Configuration Professional, our GUI tool, to write access lists and edit them as well. So I'll see you in the next video, and we'll see what's going on with CCP.